Good morning, everyone. Dirk Knudsen, Hillsboro Herald. I'm actually out in the city of North Plains this morning, and with me are members of the Friends of North Plains. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So this morning, and uh, we just had uh, a petition turned in, and this is a referendum, number 490, right? And this referendum is going to send to your voters in May out here in North Plains the decision of whether or not uh, North Plains' urban growth boundary is going to expand. Correct. Okay, and that's something that uh, could double the size of North Plains for those that aren't watching. Uh, your planning commission, your city leaders took it upon themselves to decide that was good for the city of North Plains. They were going to add about 850, 900 acres? 855. 855. Okay, and so in purple is uh, Katie Redding. You're the person whose name happens to be the chief petitioner. How does it feel to turn in a petition like this and tell us a little bit about how things went the last few days in getting this turned in because you were on a deadline, yeah? We have, but we've been working uh, ahead of the deadline in right. preparation, trying to get all of our I's dotted and T's crossed. Um, so how did that work? You you folks came up with the language for a referendum and then, um, she's fine, it's awesome. <laughs> and then uh, you all went around, got signatures. So as of yesterday morning, it was at about 2.40? The number of signatures yeah we yeah t as of yesterday we were at three so you three, added about 100 people yesterday by just talking to people in north plains yeah so katie uh you're a resident here um what's motivated you to to do this obviously there's some obvious reasons but is this something you do or is this like a first time you've come out and done this kind of thing no i'm very much just a stay-at-home mom um i lived in north plains my whole life i was at mountain dale for the first 20 some so you're country girl Country girl. Um, now I live in the city limits, and I just believe that we need to stay a small city to yeah. maintain our small city charm. And if we double our growth, we're not going to be small. Well, since you were a young girl, the town's more than doubled already, right? We had recent expansions a decade or so ago. Lots of new people. Uh, how big is the town right now? Does anybody know? Head count? It's a couple thousand people? Uh, 3,000. 3,000. I remember not too many years ago, it was like 800. Yeah. Um, so I guess as a citizen of North Plains, uh, you felt, let the voters decide, right? That maybe this was just not the right way to do it? Yes, I would really love if we could do that, a voter. What do you think the vibe is? Because you don't know on something like this, but when you think about your fellow citizens in North Plains, do you think that a lot of them are discontent about this? you think it's 50-50? Do -50? you have any idea? When we went door to door, um, yeah, when we went door to door, the overwhelming majority are against it. They feel uh, their voices aren't being heard, and they really, you know, a lot of people want some growth, but yeah. dub more than doubling the size Managed of the city growth. is, is yeah. out of control. They don't want to be the next Tannis one. Um, they're really concerned about keeping the small town. Maybe small. you don't want to be the next Hillsboro, huh? Yeah. yeah. We have those problems, right? We have growth problems. Um, and so this is not a no growth thing at all. This is just saying let's not double let's take our time for those that don't know North Plains voters used to get to vote when things were added and I think because of North Plains voters when uh, w when one of the big recent developments went in the state took the position hey cities can't voters don't get that right if cities need to grow the state's gonna let them grow so this was handled as a referendum um, and I was just talking to Katie Miller here on the left thank you Katie I'm gonna jump over to uh, Aaron yeah hi. Some of you might know Aaron Nichols from Stoneboat Farms. Aaron, um, um, how do you view this growth? Like, what was at stake here? I, from what I read, there was a big push for industrial. Maybe even like an Intel was going to come to North Plains and really help out the tax base, which cities care about. But what, what do you think was at stake here, and why was this necessary? Yeah. I mean, this, this growth would have uh, brought in over 700 acres of industrial land, all on very good farmland. Um, we had the Department of Agriculture take a look, their agronomists take a look at, at the land that was coming into the city if, if this had passed. And it was over, uh, all of it was class one and class two soils, uh, uh, predominantly. Top and stuff, excellent, yeah. Excellent, the best, the best farming land available. Um, so we brought that to the city and the city basically said, we didn't live in the city and so they don't care. Yeah. Um, and that, and we feel that, you know, I, I went door to door, I talked to, on, uh, I've talked to probably over 100 people about this, yeah. and farmland came up a lot. People are concerned about where their food's going to come from. They're concerned about the farmers in the area because all of us can tell that if you put a giant industrial section in the middle of some farmland out to the west, sure. the city's never been, 
then we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of problems with farming. We're gonna see difficulties getting uh, machinery across. Yeah. We're gonna see a lot of difficulty with farmers being able to rent land and, and buy buy more land when it's when everyone thinks they're gonna be selling to an. Well, you're a you're a farmer all the way. You've got a PSA where people basically buy produce to PSA, keep their yes. families mm -hmm. uh, going, and you've been doing that for a long time. Uh, yeah, my my current farm has been there ten years. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna jump over to Jackie Dyke. Yes, I'm I get Jackie right? Dyke-Jones. Jackie Dyke-Jones. So Jackie, I just want to close this out by talking about farmland because I think people think, oh, that's just the farmers again wailing away about farmland. But how good is this farmland? I mean, I know because I'm from here, but when people talk about best farmland in the world and then people around water coolers will say, well, that's just not true. You've been farming your whole life. Tell me how good the soils around North Plains are and what it would mean to lose more and more of it. Farmland is finite, and these are world-class soils. Literally anything can be grown here. The yeah. crops in grown in Oregon are so diverse, over 220 of not just specialty crops, but seed crops, because we have cool, wet winters, dry, warm summers, and our uh, soils from the Missoula floods, our history yeah. and our makeup is our culture here. And We're agriculture is an economic driver in Oregon and in Washington County. And so we are in support of wise planning and protecting our finite resources. And this Agriculture had, this and This was farmland. a big part of that. This yeah. step could, uh, again, a lot of people are worried as we move over time that, you know, Banks, North Plains, Forest Grove, Hillsboro all connect into some big morass like Aloha, Tiger, Beaver, and we just don't want that, right? Um, great job, you guys. Uh, I don't know what to say, and I hope other groups of citizens are encouraged. This is a referendum process required 10% of the voters. And they got it out here, and in May we're going to find out. Yeah. You guys yeah, must be very proud to today. Yeah. Register to vote. Register to vote. That's the only way to make your voice heard. And for, for all of you in North Plains, um, you know, get to know what's going on. Uh, Friends of North Plains? Smart, Smart Growth. growth. Friendsofnorthplainssmartgrowth.org is the website. Friendsofnorthplainssmartgrowth.org. We'll put it in an article at the Hillsborough Herald, and... Really proud to meet people like you. You know, this is right up our alley, and uh, we don't have enough of this. So congratulations, and we'll see what happens in May. Yeah, thank Thanks, you. Yeah. Take care, everyone.